Hi YouTube, it's me, Lovely Brown Skin 27, and I'm coming with you with another initial review. Well, um, I j I'm just getting off work or whatever, or whatever, and um, I wore my hair my hair back pulled back in a low ponytail today, and I had the the ends were curled. These are the same curls that I had in yesterday, so from the uh, curling one, so these did last or whatever. Um. I'm actually stepping out tonight, and when I had got off, I ran to the beauty supply store because I actually needed some more flexi rods. So this is review is going to be on how I flexi rod my hair. And I didn't want any wine curls tonight, so I definitely wanted some flexi rods. And I have the Grey Pack, the Grey Kind. They were $3.49 a piece. Um... So I would say it's like the small to medium size or whatever. So I got two packs and they came out to like $7.49. So I am going to be flexing, riding my hair tonight. And this still is the same hair, the 16 inch Onyx. And I just wanted a little umph. So for the um for the front you see like my hair is the same length all the way around. So I think I'm gonna take the scissors and I'm gonna give it I'm gonna layer it in the front so when it's curled it can have that like pretty um side bang and give it the like shake my face and give me a little definition. So when I flexi round my hair, I also use my flat iron. I flat iron the piece first, then I put the flexi rod on. I don't know, it just kind of gives um it, it gives the uh, my hair a better curl in it, and it holds better. So I have my flat iron set to 410 degrees. And I'm going to take my hair in sections. So the flexi rods, it comes with six total. So I have 12 flexi rods total, so that should do. So I'm going to go ahead and open the these up. And... I'm going to take the front piece, flat iron it with the flat irons, and I'm trying to make this video as quick as possible because if it's too long, it will not let me um, upload it for some odd reason. But as you guys can see, when I flat iron it, um, it flies, if this hair flats, flat irons right back out, so it's not like it won't get back straight. So that's like the true to limb 16 went without the curls in. And I just flat iron it like you can just really go over once. And then you take the flexi rod. Make sure the ends are in. Tucked in. And just wrap. Roll up the your hair in the flexi rod. Just like that. And then bend the ends. And it should stay. Now, um, my end results are going to be in the next video after this one. And I'm going to have my makeup and everything done in the next video. And then you'll see the final end results in the next video. Because, I don't know, like I said, it it can't be too long or else it won't upload. So again, I flat on another piece. Take it. Make sure the ends are all tucked in and wrapped around. Then go ahead and roll the flexi rod on up just like that <clears throat> so this is really simple ladies you're just taking a piece it depends on it it's up to you how how much hair you want in each flexi rod like how big you want your sections how small you want your sections it's just according to how many flexi rods you have it's just you'll just know um, how big or how small your section should be. Then go ahead and roll it up. It's really, really simple. And you just continue to do this all the way around your head. Just like so. It's so simple. And I just flat on another piece. And again, why I'm flat on it is because I like to give my hair a little heat. It just gives me a better curl. And it, um, um, it, I don't know. It just seems like the curls just come out so more, so much more defined and so much more pretty. But don't get me wrong, guys. Um, you don't have to flat on your hair. It's just what I 
like to do. It's just what works for me. Now, I've um, flexi rotted my hair with without flat ironing the piece first, and it still takes the curl really well. And throughout YouTube, you've seen other girls flexi rot their hair without putting heat on it. But if it's your real hair and you're trying to avoid putting heat, then you don't have to um, flat iron your real hair. You can always, and if it is, you can always use um, heat protecting. Heat protecting is really good. A brand that I used was, I think it was Cream of Nature or Olive Oil Heat Protectant. So, you see how, how this flat iron get? I don't know if y'all can see the steam coming out uh, from the flat iron, but it gets really, really hot. Those flat irons are by Remington, and I purchased those flat irons from Target for about 30 bucks. And they're good ceramic flat irons. They go up to 410 degrees. And ladies, you just keep continuing to do this all the way around your head. I just got off, y'all. But I just had to do this review for y'all because I know it's going to come out pretty. I, before I start even using the wand, I always used to flexi rod my hair. So, and, um... If you actually follow me on Instagram, I recently just posted a picture on Instagram. And those curls that I have in my hair were done with the flexi rods. So, yeah. And if you follow me on Instagram or if you want to follow me on Instagram, my name is LovelyBrownSkin27 as well. And you just do this all the way around. You see how that wave is in there? These flat irons will just take that wave right back out. These are really good flat irons. So I this this I used the first pack already. So the first pack did well. It filled up one side of my head. So I still got six more. So yeah. Like I said, you'll know. Um you'll definitely know how many flexi rods you need and all that good stuff. And today I didn't even really I didn't even have on any makeup really I don't have on any lashes today at all I was bare faced today I wasn't feeling it but um I'm going I'm going somewhere with the hubby tonight he want to do something so I'm gonna definitely show you a makeup review on how I do my makeup tonight and I have a lot of a lot of videos coming up for you guys I have a holiday Christmas makeup look coming up and yeah so i'm gonna start from the front again take a piece flat iron it it doesn't have to be bone straight just put a little heat on it i don't know it just gives it just makes the curls more defined and last longer so you just wrap the make sure the ends let me do a close-up so you guys can really see how I flexi ride my hair. I'm just trying to go quick with this. You got the end like this. And make sure you wrap the ends because they kind of like slip out sometimes. So wrap it around the flexi rod and just roll it up. The flexi rods is the most easiest thing. And with, when by using heat, they curl faster. Like say if you... um. You don't have enough time to let them sit and um really curl. You put the heat on it and the curl comes. The curl, it forms the curl faster. Because with flexi rods, you can't just put the hair in. They're just going to curl. Like if you put them in and let them sit for like 20 to 30 minutes, you're going to get a really loose curl. But if you let them sit for a couple hours or if you let them sit overnight and then in the morning when you take them out, they're going to be so flawless. It's not even funny. It's going to be so cute. So again, you just take the flat iron just like that. And you see how straight it got. And I have three more flexi rods left. Definitely was enough. So two packs will definitely do you some justice. They will definitely work with, you will definitely be okay with two packs. All right. And then, when my flat, when my hair is all um, curled with the flexi rod, I usually, if I'm sleeping in my flexi rods overnight, I just take a regular scarf, 
tie it around my head so my flexi wires can stay in shape or you can also take a bonnet and put the bonnet on your head so yeah youtube this is my video on how i flexi ride my hair and you don't just have to start from them you can really like some people really like to get like flexi rise the full like layer by layer by layer but it's the flexi ride your hair gonna come it's gonna come out so pretty and so full you'll be okay so um if anybody have any questions or comments please comment below like like comment and subscribe and i only have two left to do and in the next video again you guys are gonna see the final results on my flexi rides so thank you for watching and bye youtube